Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy combined with Color Craze. Today we have a beautiful inspiration piece for Mixed Media Frenzy. The piece is by, it looks like it says Sandrin de Brune, and it's from 2015. And it's actually really stunning. I really like it. And I'm going to use our um, choice of colors here that MK and I chose for today's color craze. And it's got a very beachy vibe and very light in color. So I really like that. I'm starting out with this stamp set from uh, Wild Whisper. And it's called Splotch. And it looks like coffee cup rings. And I'm using some ink in Umber and Sand Beige. Those are both from Versafine. And um, I have had those for ages. I could not even tell you if they still even make them. I'm surprised they actually still have ink in them, actually. Um, but they seem to still work. And they gave me the perfect uh, amount of color on this layout. I didn't want it really dark. I wanted to keep it really light, which is kind of keeping with the color that is in the very middle of the color inspiration uh, piece that we have for color craze and it's actually the same color that's on the top of that coffee cup um, and maybe a little bit lighter but um, so I am basically documenting uh, my choice in coffee which um, you can see there's a piece there that says pumpkin spice in the upper right hand corner there and uh, I am going to title my layout it's not pumpkin spice because I have this acrylic piece that I really want to use, but I'm not a huge pumpkin spice fan. I will drink it occasionally, like just to have something different once in a while. But my drink of choice is uh, a vanilla latte with whole milk and lots of foam. And so um, that is what the photo is of. And then if I'm getting it a cold drink, if it's not like a frappuccino or something like that, it's going to be an iced vanilla latte with whole milk and uh, just a light amount of ice. So my title again is It's Not Pumpkin Spice, but that orange piece was perfect for the color in our color craze selection today. Um, it's kind of the, the second color in the lighter orange. And so I'm really liking the way that it looks. And I'm trying to come up with uh, what I'm going to do for my pieces that are going to go around the photo. She's got all of those leaves there. Now you could use anything. It didn't have to be leaves, but I decided to go ahead and use leave, leaves because uh, pumpkin spice and fall go together and fall goes with leaves. And so that's why I chose to use that. Now the paper that I'm using for the leaves were uh, was a piece of paper from Prima and it was from their San Tropez collection. So I just cut out a whole bunch of leaves from a bunch of leaf, leaf dyes. Some of those leaf dyes I believe are from... Um, Let's see here. Uh, some are from Dewcrafts, and then the others are from, I think, Paper Smooches is the name of it. Uh, and th they've been in my stash for ages. I don't even know that you can get them anymore. But any leaf dies that are small would do for this type of a layout. But you could do hearts. You could do stars. You could do just about anything around there. So I took my um, Mandarin Spice Catherine Pooler ink, and I put a little bit of that on my acrylic block, sprayed a little bit of water in it. And I'm just kind of inking up the leaves to give them a little bit more of an orange hint to them. And because I added water, it's keeping it pretty light. Um, I'm not I'm not getting a really saturated look, which is okay. The paper already had a little bit of that color in it. It also had a little bit of the kind of, I don't want to call it turquoise. It's kind of like a, um, a, like a slate blue color to it but really light in saturation and so I uh, decided to use the um, I think it's called daylight no that's not right um, skylight um, ink from Catherine Pooler and so I'm also using that in a very light light saturation as well because I've added so much water now I'm pulling out some twine from stampin up and it's like it's called linen thread and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a whole I wrapped it around that jar that you saw or that bucket that you saw on my desk just to get a measurement and I'm dipping that much of it into this bottle of Mod Podge and because I don't like my fingers dirty <laughs> I am just using my tweezers to kind of pull it out and to kind of get rid of the excess 
um, glue. And so I don't get it all over my fingers and it works pretty well. And then I'm going to wind it around that bucket again, just so that it kind of, it's not actually going to hold the shape because I don't wait long enough and I don't want to glue it to the bucket, but it kind of takes the curl out of it because there's a little bit of curl to the thread because it's been wound around its um, bobbin type thing <laughs> for quite some time. And so I'm going to set that off to the side and let it kind of dry a little bit uh, so that it doesn't just get all over the place when I put it down on my desk. So I want to get most of the moisture off of it and then I will um, take it off of the bucket and uh, rewrap it into a circle again of the correct size to go around that cup. And so now I am adding a little bit more ink to the leaves. I'm adding a little bit more of that um, skylight color and I'm liking the way that it's looking. I'm kind of just playing with how much depth I want around, a uh, depth of color that I want in those leaves as I, as I go around my layout. And then I decided I want to add a little bit more interest in the mixed media. And so I pull out this stencil it's from the Crafters Workshop, and it, Rebecca Meyer is the designer. It's called Mini Sketch Grid. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but uh, if you're interested, it's TCW4565. Um, I'll try to remember to put that down below, but sometimes I forget to do that when I do my uploads. So uh, that is the information on it if you're interested in that. And then what I put through it was some Picket Fence Studio Paper Glaze in Snowdrop White, which is probably my number one favorite uh, one of the paper glazes just because the white is so versatile. Um, it adds a lot of interest and depth without adding a lot of color. So um I set that aside to dry while I am working on this little ring of twine. And what I did was I lined it up in uh, how I wanted it in a circle, circle there that was large enough to go around that um, coffee. And then I just left it on my desk and I used my heat gun to just kind of finish drying it out before I put it on top of the photo. So I also used this doily. It was a much larger doily, but I just trimmed it down. You, you probably saw that at the beginning. Um, I don't know if they make doilies in this particular size otherwise, but you know, you can always trim them down to make them work for you. And that's what I did here. I'm not a huge doily user, but there was one in the inspiration piece. And I thought, you know, with coffee, it works very well. So I went ahead and used it. And um, I like the way that it comes out because it, it adds another layer of interest without adding any color and it is really a kind of keeps everything soft so now I'm playing with how I want these leaves to lay and I am going to realize here that I want to cut the bottom of the photo off so it's not sticking out below the leaves so I'm going to just carefully peel that up and trim it off uh, everything's already adhered down to the layout and um, so uh, just trimming it off as best as I can it doesn't really matter too much that it's not straight or anything because that, like I said, those fo those leaves are going to cover that up. And then I have these wood veneer pieces. Those are from Colorcast Designs. The coffee one came, it has a little pumpkin on the coffee cup that came with the pumpkin spice acrylic. And then I have a couple of other ones that are coffee related, but they came with this piece that says drink of choice. But those ones are really old. I've had those in my stash for a couple of years now. And so you can't really get that one anymore, but um, I was able to use the wood veneer from it and um, I thought it worked really well because it paired up nicely with the larger wood veneer with the little pumpkin on the cup. So I've got my uh, pieces of leaves or the base pieces of the leaves. So I always start with the largest ones, get those down, and then I will fill in all of the spots with the smaller ones. And so that's kind of what I did there. Now I left that spot open between the one that's on the far right and the one next to it, because that is where that large round wood veneer piece is gonna go. And then I'm just gonna use these other little pieces to kind of fill it in. And I'm liking the way that it's coming together. Now I could have used that title that says drink of choice, um, but it was not in the color inspiration for our, um, color craze mood board or, um, 
inspiration piece. So I did not end up using that. And I chose to go with the one that says pumpkin spice. And besides that drink of choice can also mean very like it could be water, it could be juice, it could be an alcoholic or non alcoholic beverage that is uh, like a cocktail type or a mocktail. So um, I have a lot of options, a lot of different places that I can use that. But pumpkin spice, uh, there's, it's a little bit more limited. And so I, I thought it was good to document that uh, pumpkin spice is not my favorite, even though you know, the fall se season seems to be all about pumpkin spice. And everything nice and everybody seems to like it. It's, it's not my favorite. I do enjoy trying different drinks. I've tried the pumpkin spice. I've tried like the caramel macchiato and the, um, I don't, I don't even know which other ones are out there at this point. Um, but I always end up falling back to this, just the vanilla latte. Um, but like I said, the other ones are nice to change, change things up here and there, but this is my old standby. So um, then I decided to pull out these Catherine Pooler stamps and they, uh, let's see here. They are called, hmm, find your happy. That's the name of the stamp set. And I just pulled out the, it's like little tiny dots that are supposed to be like the center of the flower. And then there's one that has three little tiny hearts. And that's all I'm using that for. It's just to bring in a little bit of black, but in a kind of a softer palette because it's, um, you know, not like a big black splotch. It's just like little tiny dots. And I like the way that it looks. Um, it's just adding a little bit more depth, but not a lot of, um, you know, your eye doesn't want to just go straight to that big black splotch or anything. So I'm liking how that looks. Then I pulled out my gold Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I'm going to give that a sprinkle around the entire layout just to kind of uh, give it a little bit more interest. And then I am putting that foam mouse pad behind my layout and I'm gonna punch a few holes and drop a few tiny brads in. Um, it looked like there were some brads used on the inspiration piece, but hers were larger with maybe some gemstones in them. And I'm just using some really tiny gold ones just to bring in a little bit more interest there and a different texture. And so I think that that looks nice. I uh, just did three little ones. I am going to move the one that I, I, you see me moving it right now. Um, it was lined up horizontally too much with the one that's right next to the pumpkin spice wood veneer. So I'm just moving it and then I will put something else over that spot where uh, I just poked a hole. And so um, what I'm putting over that is these little tiny white flowers and I'm going to leave those white. I to toyed with the idea of changing those up to one of the orange colors to bring in a little bit more depth. But I know that the, the paper that those are you are made from is very um, porous and it likes to like, or fibrous, it likes to suck up the water and then it would be, they would be very orange. So I decided not to do that. Um, and I decided just leaving them white would look better. And then I'm just using some Zots Mini. Uh, they're like made for bling. And I'm using those to adhere the acrylic piece that says pumpkin spice. And while I do that, uh, I'll remind you that MK is playing along today for sure with actually both Mixed Media Frenzy and Color Craze. So go check out what her layout looks like. I'm really curious to see since we started with the same um, color inspiration and the same uh, piece to scrap lift. So I'm really curious to see what hers looks like versus mine and just to see where we went differently. It's always fun for me to check that out because our minds work so differently. Um, it's just, it's just really fun. So, and then there are a bunch of people that are also playing along with Mixed Media Frenzy. The links are all down below in my description box so you can check them out as well and leave them a little bit of love. Now I do have this uh, stamp set that I am able to stamp those little tile stickers with and I had some empty tile stickers that I just pulled out that stamp set and type, I didn't type, and stamped the words, um, it's not onto those little tile stickers so that it looked like I created them with the stamp set. Um, 
but I just kind of finagled it kind of at the last minute because I didn't have any in the right color. So I just used a Versamark or Versafine uh, pad in, I think it's called Sand Beige. And it's keeping it really light. It's one of the same colors that I used in the background piece. And I just wanted to keep it super light and uh, it's readable, but it's not bold in your face. Now I pulled out some more of the Catherine Pooler ink and I am going to add another layer onto these leaves to kind of darken them up a bit. And I am using the Mandarin Spice again and the I will end up using the Skylight one as well. So I'm just bringing in another layer of that orange to add a little bit more depth. And now that all of the leaves are kind of laid out where I want them, I can kind of really see where I want to add the color because I want to add orange, but not um, right next to another leaf that has orange right in that spot. So I kind of want the, the, the ones that are in skylight to be, which is that other kind of greenish color, um, greenish bluish color. I want them kind of next to an orange one, not like a big blotch of <laughs> Of orange in one spot and a big blotch of green in another spot so kind of just allows you to kind of be a little bit more picky about your placement and I'm liking that the way that it's looking it is actually bringing in a lot more of the pigment and darkening them up a lot but it is still keeping it soft so I, I hope that makes a little bit of sense um, I really do like the way that it's coming together <clears throat> <clears throat> Mixed Media Frenzy happens every Friday of the month. Um, uh, there is a group of people that play along every Friday, and then it is open to other people to play along on the last Friday of the month. So if um, you are interested in playing along, um, you can check out the Mixed Media Frenzy group for that. Um, and that is for people who are doing YouTube or Instagram. If you are uh, just going to play along you kind of play along after the fact um, but if you want to post on social media and share on Instagram and YouTube then uh, you can probably get added to the group so uh, it's always a lot of fun um, there's always different kinds of mixed media going on and I really have been enjoying it so now I am pulling in some orange enamel dots and those are from uh, Gina Marie designs and so I'm pulling in the orange ones that are the exact same orange as the pumpkin sp spice acrylic piece from color cast designs and um, I, it's just adding a little tiny hint of orange over onto the left hand side of the photograph which uh, just kind of brings everything together so hopefully you have enjoyed this video close-ups are coming up in just a moment here um, I am going to back the entire layout with this piece of cardstock, which looks black, but it's actually really a dark chocolatey brown. And so I thought that was like the perfect piece to back it with because um, I've got so, so much of the light brown on the front of the layout. Uh, it just gives it a really nice edge. And I usually go with just an eighth of an inch on each side of the layout, but I went with a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. So um, not quite a quarter of an inch somewhere in between but um, I really like the way that it looks because the darkness in the photo is mimicked um, in that background that goes all the way around the layout and frames it nicely so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up down below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love for you to subscribe and if you are subscribed thank you for subscribing and thank you for choosing to watch my channel today I know you guys have a lot of choices and a lot of inspiration out there for you. Um, and I am really, truly honored and blessed that you have chosen to spend time with me today. Um, I will be back again, actually on Sunday with our last um, and final color craze uh, layout. So hopefully you have enjoyed that series. Um, we will be coming back next month with another series for you. And so I hope that you uh, continue to watch. Oh, there's a little sparkle on those um, leaves, and that is just with a clear wink of Stella pen. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again Sunday. Bye.